We are here at the Atlanta Pro Tour with the man, the legend, Brian Kibler himself. So before before we sat down here, you were just about to tell us a story about how you got kicked out of high school. Well, I didn't. I didn't actually get kicked out of high school. I almost got. Kicked almost, out of school. Oh, okay. I almost got kicked out of high school. Let's, <laughs> let's go ahead and touch that basis. Right and it away. actually it does have to do with magic because okay. uh, so I actually I went to uh, Phillips Academy mm -hmm. in Andover, Massachusetts. It's a you know pretty prestigious like private prep school, and uh, they have you know a, a little bit different sort of policies that than most schools. Okay. Uh, one of those being that you know there are there are occasionally weekend classes. There are occasionally Saturday classes, mm -hmm. um, and. I had qualified for the Junior Pro Tour. This is back when there was a Junior Pro Tour ah. uh, in Dallas, Texas. This is 97, oh, I think, geez. 96. It's a long time yeah, it's ago. A, it's a while ago. Uh, so I talked to one of my deans, uh, and you know, I was like, okay, listen, I, I qualify for this thing, mm -hmm. and I know that I'm not supposed to be able to leave campus this weekend. There's classes, you know, there's no permissions given. And it was actually also right before Thanksgiving, so it was oh, particularly, yeah. you know, lots of people wanted to try and leave early and yada yada, but, yeah. uh, and she was like, oh, well, if you go and talk to all your teachers and get permission from each of them, you can go. So I go around, talk mm -hmm. to all of my teachers, explain to all of them what magic is and yeah. what in the world I'm doing, <laughs> and, uh, you know, get permission from all of them. I'm like, awesome, sweet. So I go and, uh, you know, I talk to my mom, you know, we, we buy my plane ticket, and then I later receive notice from that dean, she's like, oh, I actually realized that I can't give you permission. You, you, this other dean has to give you permission. So I'm like, okay, I'll, I like prepare the same sort of spiel for him, and I just go, and he's just like, nope, just, just flat like not just listening no. to a word I'm saying, it's like, like not, nope, nah. nope, blanket can't go. And then you know, I'm obviously pretty pretty annoyed at this point, mm -hmm. and I uh, I call my mom, and she's like, well, what if you go anyway? So <laughs> that's, a, that's a sweet mom. Right? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. she was my number one fan. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and then then you know, I left. I just, uh, they were like, well, we probably won't kick you out of school. I'm like, okay, bye. All right. And uh, there would end up being some confusion because I, I like filled out a permission overnight thing for my, my dorm you know, leader or whatever. Okay. And he thought that, that meant I had actually gotten permission. But basically I was just like, yeah, I'm not going to be here. I want to give you this thing telling you that. And you know, they, they like basically put me on the, uh, I was on probation, oh. I, you know, the, the, <laughs> the academic disciplinary whatever probation yeah. and uh, wasn't allowed to leave campus for months. Okay. Like it was. It was kind of ridiculous, and it was for playing Magic. And uh, now, amusingly enough, um, on Wikipedia, uh. I am listed among notable alumni of Phillips Academy, oh. and you're like John F. Kennedy Jr., wow. and, like the owner of the Patriots. Oh my gosh. And you know, it's because of Magic, yeah. and they almost kicked me out for that. That is that is just <laughs> sick right there. It's pretty funny. Oh my god, <laughs> like that that is sick. I, w I would love to just, just to be around and all this is just <laughs> happening. Just well, it wasn't quite so fun at the time. Yeah, yeah but not at the time, but you know. <laughs> oh my God. So let's let's jump into the meat of things here. I don't know what the meat is here, but that was pretty meaty. That story. was very meaty. That yeah. was very I mean, I was glad to hear it. I'm, I'm sure the people were. I'm pretty hungry now, too. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. I actually just had lunch break, meat. but I eat a lot. Oh, fair enough. I mean, eating is good. That's true. But, so we're here at the Atlanta Pro Tour, and what, what uh, what deck? What deck are you playing today? Uh, well, obviously, this is you know not to be disseminated outside of oh uh, no no it's, it's, and all, it's all good. So you guys out there it's, it's, can hear this eventually, but not right now. Not right now. It, it, um, it won't be helpful. <laughs> we got you. We got you. But no, I'm playing. Uh, I'm playing Bug Control, but Bug sort of mid range. Mm -hmm. um, it's the the deck that pretty much the entire t uh, Channel Fireball team that I was testing with okay. uh, decided on, and amusingly enough. Uh, apparently the deck that most of the other Channel Fireball team also decided on. Ah. Um, basically just leverages a lot of the most powerful and efficient cards in the format. Okay. Um, there's Thoughtseize, Karyatid, Corsair, mm -hmm. um, Kiora, Ashiok, yeah. uh, Prognostic Sphinx, just a bunch of efficient and powerful cards and flexible removal. Okay. Like that. Yeah, that seems that seems pretty proficient. Is there anything, uh, you know, besides just practicing with the Channel Fireball team that you did like to prepare for this event? I actually or? didn't prepare nearly as much as I would have liked for this event. Mm -hmm. um, I flew out to Las Vegas a couple weeks ago, or drove out actually, um, to test at Eric Froelich's house uh, with the rest of the team. But then I had to get back, uh, f you know, just do work for yeah, a yeah, week. Yeah. Uh, then the team had decided to go to Minneapolis for the Grand Prix, which I thought was a bad idea. I, I actually made top 32 there, so I picked up some points. But it cut into our testing like pretty substantially. Okay. Uh, you know, especially for those of us who have responsibilities and can't just go spend that whole week playing games. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I got you. So you know it. it I didn't really feel like I was able to spend as much time building decks as I would have liked. Uh, I think we have a great deck, yeah. and I, I think that our, the deck that we ended up with was really good. Um, but personally, I, I felt like I wasn't able to get to the point that I usually would approach where at least like I have a deck that you know I have worked on for a while yeah. and I like just because I was you know I had a deck and it didn't really work and I was abandoning it and trying to work something else and it just never quite got to the point and eventually I was just like I don't have enough time I'm just playing the bug deck. Okay, yeah, that's fair. 
But uh, so you mentioned Channel Fireball. Uh, I don't I don't want to cross any boundaries here, but well, look like at how is it? Yeah, that, that, that's what I'm saying. More that's, importantly, that's what, starts I'm, the game. That, that, that's what I'm saying. Like what? How how is that working out? Like are you enjoying your time at Channel Fireball and whatnot? Well, I mean, I, I I've I've practiced with with that particular group of guys for a long time now. Okay. Um, the first tournament that I actually tested with that group, I think, was Pro Tour Amsterdam in 2010. Ah. Um, and I, I actually had just started playing Magic again in 2009. Mm -hmm. You know, qualified for the Pro Tour. Um, and then uh, I was testing primarily with Ben Rubin, who was a, a good friend of mine from years and years ago. We mm -hmm. tested together, you know, back in like the early 2000s. Um, and then he uh, moved away to go work on a Caribbean island at a sports betting company. Oh, <laughs> seems. Uh, <laughs> and you know, cool. I no longer had a local playtest partner because he also lived in San Diego. Yeah. Uh, so you know, I ended up approaching Luis and just being like, "Listen, you know, I have no one to test with, okay. and you know, I." think I can contribute and you guys are you know are, are like you know obviously a really good group and I just like to work with you and you know they you know brought me on then and you know at that deck at that pro tour played my deck so okay. <laughs> ended up ended up working out for everyone no oh, awesome heck yeah so how uh, how's your time been in Atlanta so far are you just enjoying it's been it? busy mostly it's been um, busy. I mean the weather has been weird uh, yeah I actually oh. got caught in like a freak rainstorm the other day like, yeah I was just Welcome drenched. to that Georgia weather. I yeah, mean, I know. I mean, I, I lived here for five years. Yeah, so. yeah I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, it's. I mean, it's been. It's been. It's been. You know, fine. I haven't really gotten been able to go out and do anything. That's one of the one of the things about you know traveling to events um, when you are under time pressure. Mm -hmm. As someone who you know has other responsibilities, uh, you know, I I have very limited time to actually come out in here and test. So the time that I'm here, I've mostly spent playing. Okay. Uh, you know, I. I wake up way earlier than most of the rest of the team so you know I go to bed at like midnight or so wake up at 7 a.m. you know go to the gym go get breakfast and like everyone else isn't even awake yet by the time I get yeah, back yeah, so yeah. I've been able to do that which is nice okay. uh, I've been on a pretty hardcore uh, you know fitness and, 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 and nutrition regimen for a while and I was afraid that it would be difficult to stick to here yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I actually found like a gym that I'm a member of down the street so it's really convenient. wow yeah. that's awesome I mean that's that's pretty sweet but uh so can we can we travel back in time for a little bit. Can we, no, can we, we don't just, have the technology. We don't have the technology. I, I, I would like to travel back in time. I feel like I, I, have I would too. I like really love to buy Google stock. Yeah, that'd be nice. But let's let's talk about some standard from right. back in the day. All right. I just want to I just want to know your thoughts on the green red deck. I mean, how did it feel to actually break standard at you the time? You have a really loose definition of back in the day. If I last mean, summer is back in the day. That's kind of back in the day. For I, mean, me. I mean, we got is, black decks but. running around now. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, I mean, it's, it's back like 360 days. 360 like days. Okay. A, a year ago. A year ago. <laughs> so, I mean, I just want to know. Not how, even that, actually. Not even. Well, whatever. Something, something around there. But how did it feel to actually just, you know, well, put together this deck and just redefine standard? The funny it? thing was that that was actually, it was actually kind of frustrating. Really? As weird as it might sound because... Um, you know, I worked in that deck, and you know, uh, eventually came to the, the the final version. You know, basically the night before Worlds. Yeah. Um, and I played it in Worlds for three rounds mm -hmm. and crushed everyone. Yeah. And then everyone else went out and played it and crushed everyone. Yep. And I never got to play another tournament. <laughs> so I literally got to play three rounds with a deck that I uh, like I, I made that was so good. Yeah. And everyone else got to win everything with it. I'm just like. Where's, well, where's my shot? What the? What the? <laughs> I want to play more dragons and dome Come Yeah, on. exactly. That's what I'm talking about. See, this is a man right here who knows the good cards. You know what I'm talking about? Domri, all y'all know that Domri is my boy. I mean... Domri's my boy. Yeah. Oh, don't be... Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, you're right. You're right. You got it. You got it. I mean... <laughs> I just like to imagine Dahmer. That mine is too. I just imagine him like that. He likes to come out of the woods and just like, you know, I'm going to have you fight this dude. And they're like, no, I don't want to. First strike. I I'm going to have you fight him. And that's going to be it. Like, I mean. He's I'm a boss. A, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of the deck. He's, got, he's like a little dude. He's got a big club. Yeah, just a big club bashing folks over the head with. It's, it's nuts, man. But, you know, so far, uh, what, what did you what did you really expect to see, like, here today at the Pro Tour and whatnot? I mean, the the mo we actually expected the most popular deck to probably be some form of mono black, okay. um, whether mono black aggro, mono black mid range, like sort of aggregated. Uh, mm -hmm. We thought would be the most popular deck. Then uh, the various uh, like blue white heroic strategies yeah, and yeah, enchantress yeah. strategies, and then the sort of amalgamation of mid range green strategies. Mm -hmm. You know, whether they're Naya or Junk or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and we thought you know Esper would be a pretty you know pretty reasonable presence. Um, I haven't really seen much in the way of Esper at all here. Um, but there are actually, you know, as you said before, there's there's been you know a bunch of other bug decks too. Yeah. So I mean, I, I think the format actually looks, from what I've seen around me, to be pretty favorable to what we're actually playing. So that's uh, that's pretty exciting. Okay, that's awesome. Well, it's definitely great to see that you're enjoying your time here and whatnot. Thank you so much for yeah. sharing your time with me. Absolutely, Thanks a lot, my pleasure. Man. Definitely.